Hey guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new. I'm Becca and on this channel I am reacting my way through eating disorder recovery alongside complex chronic illness one video at a time in an effort to help someone else on the other side of the screen feel either less alone, more understood, or to give you something to either learn or laugh about. So if any one of those things can be accomplished, that's the best thing I can ask for. So today I'm really excited to get into some more Casey Chambers. I did her Lose Yourself cover reaction back in, I think, October, and I've been wanting to do a lot of her stuff since, specifically her original songs, because so many of you shared her amazing story, her amazing journey, how big of a deal she is there in Australia, and I can't believe I hadn't heard of her before until the Lose Yourself cover, so I can't wait to get into this. At the request of many of you, the first original song of hers that I'm doing is not pretty enough. And I'm so excited to get into this one, so not gonna waste any more time, just gonna take our breath, then we will get this show started. All right, nervous system, eh, somewhat regulated. Let's get into this song. Casey Chambers, Not Pretty Enough, official music video. Am I not pretty enough? Is my heart too broken? Do I cry too much? Am I too outspoken? Don't I make you laugh? Should I try it harder? Why do you see right through me? Okay, this is gonna be emotional. I knew that, but uh... Yeah. So a couple of you put in the comments that this song was sort of written in response to her not fitting the mold of what the music industry wanted her to be. So that is, I know, a lot of the angle that is coming through with this song. But the video here, in addition to the lines that she's singing, is, is kind of breaking my heart. Because Casey, you could hear, was singing those lines, and then they also showed her up on that screen in what looked like an airport here. I'm assuming that's what this is. It says, am I not pretty enough? Is my heart too broken? Do I cry too much? Am I too outspoken? Don't I make you laugh? Should I try it harder? Why do you see right through me? And I just, those words, man, they were like a dagger to my soul because I can't tell you the number of times in my life I have been told to tone it down, say, you're not enough, or you have too many emotions, you're too emotional, you need to stop being so sensitive, you need to chill out, you need to stop crying, you're being overreacting here, you're like, that is a message that we get so often just for showing our emotions and being real and being authentic and I can hear the desperation in her voice here, she's like, am I not pretty enough? Is my heart too broken for you to accept? Is it too much for you to handle my, my real emotions just laying them bare like that? Do I cry too much and am I too outspoken about these things? Don't I make you laugh? Trying to like, it's like, I thought I made you laugh. Am I instead just like, just like too much here? I thought I made you laugh. Should I try it harder? Why do you see right through me? So, oh, I have a feeling we'll get more about like the perspective of the song as we keep going through. So I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of more time on those words, because again, it was it was fairly straightforward in the lyrics, but I did want to remark on how they are extremely relatable, specifically to me on the emotion side of things, because my whole life I have told that my emotions are too much and too much to handle. And to hear any artist capture that in words and in song and to know that they feel it on such a deep core level themselves, it brings me solace, but it also brings me pain because I don't want them to have to feel that way because it's a really hard place and a really painful place to be. So, ha. Huh. One thing that really got my heart there in the video though is as these lines were being sung, you could see that little girl kind of sneaking a little bit to put on makeup and you can see her mom, I'm assuming it's her mom there in the video, illustrating to her like, you know, like blot your lips, doing that thing with her lips to try to get the lipstick to be even and smooth on her lips. But like seeing this little girl here do that, thinking that is she not enough? Is she not pretty enough as she is? This little girl, she has to put makeup on as this little girl just to be accepted, that is so Oh, heartbreaking and it's the reality for so many people and it starts at way too young an age and that why do you see right through me that is that's a powerful line that we may dig into more as we get in further into the song but it's like how can you see right through me how can you see through me when I'm trying to be what you need when I'm trying to be someone who can make you laugh when I'm trying to put on this show for you and that line about why do you see right through me I think she's saying despite me trying to be someone who makes you laugh, despite me trying to be this version of me that you've told me I need to be, that I think you want me to be, 
you still see right through me because those facades, those masks will always fall and it can really sometimes be painful to feel like someone can see through this facade and this mask and this presentation of yourself that you're trying to put out there because you feel like the real you and the genuine you and the authentic you has been rejected and oh my goodness i just i love those lyrics along with the imagery of the video here so let's take it back just a little bit and we'll keep going be right through me Okay, I like that this video, it's not all taking place in that original airport. It's going through some different scenes here, and I like how they have put Casey singing this song on all these different types of screens in these different settings. So she is singing this song, and it is connecting with this wide variety of people in this wide variety of settings, and I just think that is super masterfully done and a really neat detail that they have done here. That is just... I don't know, I just think it's brilliant to do that in this video, so I'm loving that. Put those words there again, hit really close to home. She says, I live, I breathe, I let it rain on me. I sleep, I wake, I try hard not to break. So I live and I breathe, I let it rain on me. That could be taken a few different ways. I'll try to unpack a couple of them, but I'm not saying that this is necessarily it. But like, let it rain on me, a lot of times for me, one of the most grounded, times that I can experience is like when it's raining outside and it's warm enough for me to go outside and just stand there and let the rain wash over me. It is the most healing, cathartic, grounding experience and I don't necessarily think she's talking about literal rain there. I think she's talking about the rain of life. She's living and breathing but also feeling this rain of life just falling down on her. I think that might be where she's going there. She lets this rain, she lets the sadness, she lets these emotions rain down on her even though she's trying to live and breathe or she is living and breathing and she can't escape these things raining down. And then she says, I sleep, I wake, I try hard not to break. Again, a pretty self-explanatory line, but that I try hard not to break line is really profound because like I said, when you have this presupposition and or if you've been given the message from society, from other people, from anyone in the world, that you are not enough as you are, the mask and that facade that you think you need to wear to put on, you're gonna have to try really, really hard for that not to slip, for that not to break, because eventually that will break, that will come tumbling down, and then it's just you. It's just you and your emotions and your soul and your authentic humanity. And that's a beautiful thing. Don't ever let this world tell you any differently because it will try to, it will try to beat that out of you. And there is nothing that is not beautiful about authentic emotion. And she finishes off that section saying, I crave, I love, I've waited long enough, I try hard as I can. So like, I know you all again have shared with me that Casey has been doing this for years, if not decades now, and she has been around specifically well-known in Australia for a very long time. So I think part of that is like, she's waited long enough. She's waited long enough to get her break. She's waited long enough to be able to be herself in the music industry, in whatever situation. She's waited long enough and she has tried as hard as she can to try to fit this mold and maybe she's done trying to fit that mold because it's an impossible mold and an impossible standard that no one can meet all the time and it does not actually have any bearing on your value or worth as a person or what your light can shine in this world. But trying as hard as I can is something that I think a lot of us can relate to. We often try to be accepted, whether that's changing the way we act, changing the words we say, trying to tailor our reactions or our sentences to whoever we're talking to, to try to make it right for them, and then in the process of that forsaking our own soul, our own humanity, our own authenticity and emotions, and oh, I don't know, I just, I love the way that she's saying that. So let's take it back a little bit, we're getting ready to get into the chorus again, I think.
Okay, I love that they used the image there of a karaoke bar. So they've been showing Casey singing this on different screens. Then they showed someone else on stage singing this and you could see the, the lyrics across the bottom being lit up as if it was like a karaoke performance. And then it also kind of panned around to this next screen that Casey was on. And I think that what this is kind of showing is that this is such a universal feeling and experience and one that women specifically can relate to on such a deep level. I would be shocked if there is a single adult female in this world who has managed to make it to whatever age they're to at this point in life without feeling this at some point in one way or another based on the standards of society at large. And I think that the way that they illustrated that with the karaoke person singing, then the lyrics there, and then it also panning to yet another screen that Casey's on, I think it's showing the universality of the truths here of how universal this feeling can be. And she's capturing it so well. And I love that we're seeing how it's touching different people from different walks of life. You also saw that scene in the, I think the airport bathroom where the guy was in there. He had, you know, what, a mohawk on, I think. And he had all kinds of tattoos and piercings. And then the older guy who was standing there with the paper towels to hand him on the way out. Like it's showing you how this phenomenon of not fitting whatever society's standard is can affect anyone, no matter the age, no matter the gender, no matter the life circumstance, no matter what you've got going on. This is something that a lot of us can relate to, and it can be very painful, especially when you feel rejected for who you really are. So I just like the way that with this video, they're illustrating that this type of emotion, that this type of experience can be felt and lived by such a wide variety of people from such an array of circumstances, yet it still gets to the core of this common human experience that so many of us share. And I just think that is magical, downright magical. Should I try it harder? That was special. We know Casey is special. We know that she is special. I'm so glad I finally did one of her original songs because that was amazing. I really loved, I know I already talked about it a little bit so I won't dwell on it too much here, but I really loved how as the video continued and as it finished out as she was singing the chorus a couple times there towards the end, I all the different people that were coming at the different scenes throughout, they were like kind of going back and forth to them and showing all of them and then, I don't know, I just think it's so wonderful the way that she put this video together to illustrate that this is a phenomenon, this is an experience that so many of us from the youngest of young people to the oldest of elderly people and everyone in between from every walk of life, it is very likely that you have experienced some version of this and that is, first of all, heartbreaking, but secondly, it's something that binds us all together and can 
can help us all realize just how important it is to strive for true authenticity and to be genuine in this world because that's what the world needs more of. It doesn't need more of you wearing a mask. The world does not need more of the version of you that you think the world is telling you it needs. No matter what the world is telling you, even if they are giving you a very narrow vision of what you should be, the world needs you, period. There is no other you. You are the only one that can be you. In that first line of the chorus, the am I not pretty enough, that in a lot of contexts could sound like a shallow line, but it does not sound shallow whatsoever here because it gets to the heart of the issue of so many people who are so talented. Casey is amazing. She is a powerhouse. She is wonderful. She is one of the most talented artists that I have found in this past year or so as I've been doing all of this. She's she's amazing. I'm so glad I finally started reacting to her content. But when someone who is that amazing and that masterful and that wonderful at her craft and that awesome of an artist can still feel like, oh, but I'm, I'm not pretty enough. Am I not pretty enough for you? Despite the fact that I've got all this talent, I've done all this stuff, I've got all these accomplishments, but am I not pretty enough for you? Because you're putting looks above everything else that oh, this is a sad world we live in when that's the reality. And unfortunately, that is the reality for a lot of people. And I think this song, I really hope that it was cathartic for Casey to write this song whenever she originally wrote it. I hope that it was cathartic for her. I know that it was for me listening to it and watching the video that was so wonderfully well put together. I am just really glad I did it. I'm glad you all recommended this one. Several of you mentioned this song in particular, like I said. So I'm so thankful for you in that way. And I cannot wait to get into more of Casey's original stuff because my gosh, my gosh, she's a powerhouse and one of the best discoveries of the past year for me. So as always, I really appreciate you guys stopping by the channel. I hope you've been able to enjoy this video. If you have any other requests, as always, let me know down below. Otherwise, please friends, take care of yourselves. Be gentle with yourselves. This world needs you and I'm glad you're in this world and I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.